So you want to know how to send emails in ASP.NET Core or in C Sharp in general. Well, welcome to this video. My name is Yannick and in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can send emails. Now, first of all, we also have the content of this video written as an article at our website. Here you can copy the code and follow along. So what I suggest is you watch this video and afterwards go to the blog or to the article and copy the code over if you need it. So here I got an ASP.NET Core MVC application. Okay, so this is why on the right side you can see a controller, folder and a home controller. So as I said, MVC model view controller application. Now we want to start by creating a service. So when we have an email sender service, we can inject it using dependency injection so that our controllers, for example, our home controller can take the email sender service and then actually send an email. If you have no clue about dependency injection and you want to know that first, check out the video which is showing up right now. This is one of our most popular videos because dependency injection is a very important topic. So definitely don't skip that if you haven't watched it yet. So what we have here is an email sender interface and that's what you want to create too. You want to create an interface. You can put it in specific folders, but just for, uh, well, keeping it as easy as possible for you to follow along. I just put every new class just into the root folder. So create a public interface. We can call it I email sender service, but you can call it however you like. And inside here, we lay out a method, which is a task right return type task we call it send email async and we simply want to submit an email so who wants to receive that email what's the uh, subject line and what's the actual message content so that's all we have to do now next up we want to create a class which is called email sender this will be our email sender service you can call it however you like you can also call it service or whatever but this class implements the i email sender which basically means that we now have to create a public task send email async because like interfaces are not optional right we have to create that and now let's go through the content and that's really like the core behind all of that inside here we have an email address and a password which you would need to or which you use to log in right so i just created a new outlook um email address and a password right here and no worries i'll change it afterwards and remove it right so this is really like what you use at outlook.com or wherever your email uh, sender or whatever your email provider is. If you have Gmail, then your email address would be any kind of Gmail address maybe or whatever and your email address password. Now, then we set up an SMTP client, which we use to send emails. And this is entirely unrelated to ASP.NET Core because this is pure .NET framework. Oh, and by the way, if you're new to our channel or haven't noticed yet, we offer a unique online course. It's called the C Sharp Progress Academy and it turns you into a job ready C Sharp developer by learning C Sharp, ASP.NET Core, Angular, unit testing and C Sharp design patterns. If you want to learn more about that course, I can really highly recommend it. Check it out in the description below or in the top right corner right now. And inside of that SMTP client, we need to provide our credentials. You can see that here, new network credentials, right? And we enable SSL. That's no problem because our ASP.NET Core applications just by default are secured anyway. And afterwards we run client.send mail async. So we are sending an asynchronous mail, right? And we just provide a new mail message object and put in the information that we have received from our parameters and for sure, our credentials right here. So again, we're going to say like from, I want to send it from, I want to send to subject message and all of that. So basically this is really the core email sending. Now let's switch over to our program.cs because we now have to add our service to the dependency injection so that we can use the service inside of our controllers. And that's actually a single line of code. And you can see that right here, right before we build that application and are able to configure services, we simply call the builder services and add a transient I email sender service now. Well, transient means that every time we want to send an email, a new instance of an email sender service will get created. There are for sure other life cycles out there like singleton or scoped. But in this scenario, we're going to use add transient. Now, after adding this line, we are able to use our email sender 
from the dependency injection because we now have added it to the DI. So let me go into a controller here. We are creating a private field here. We got that email sender, I email sender, right? Then we create a constructor and inside of that constructor, we receive an email sender from the dependency injection. So whatever we write down here into our program.cs as a service, we can't get that injected into the constructor. As I said, please watch the video about dependency injection if you have no clue, because it's a super important topic for every C Sharp developer. Well, and afterwards, we take that email sender from the dependency injection and assign it to our variable here. And now, since we're using MVC and we start our application, we can see the index page because it's a view, right? And what I just did is like, okay, when I start the application, just send the test email because it's just for testing purposes, right? Here we got our receiver. This is just a 10 minute mail, uh, just any service out there. And then we got a subject line, we got a message. And then since our email sender is a synchronous here, right, send email async, I switched the return type of the index method right here to async task I action result so that we can successfully await any asynchronous calls. So now we use our email sender, the service that we have injected, send email async receiver subject message. So we now put in all the information and send that email. So now let's see when I start the application, it will open up the index page. But before we can see the index page, the email will already get sent. Alrighty, so now we got our application opened up here. I will now bring my 10 minute mail on the screen. And you can see that we have received an email from the correct email address and the correct subject line. And if I open it up, you can also see that the date is correct and that we got the content placed inside of the body here. So yeah, that's working fine. And this is how you can send emails from ASP.NET Core or C Sharp in general. Awesome. So if you're looking for the source code, as I said, check out our blog article on that. You can find it in the description below. Subscribe to our channel if you want to see more C Sharp and .NET related videos. And for sure, if you're interested in landing your first job as a developer or progressing faster as a C Sharp developer, check out our C Sharp Progress Academy. So thanks for watching and see you next time.